toxic. Your ass ain't never been in one of the relationships, boy. One of the ones that have a hold on your ass where you can't even think straight. And then that part where I say same one, like the, the same one knocked your ass down, the one helping you up, bitch. Like helping me up. The reason I failed, I think if I leave, I'm really going to fail. You ever had the bitch who actually got you fucked up is the one who's trying to help you get right? That's some sick shit when you think about it. Like the same motherfucker that got you somewhere crying and shit, trying to help your ass get yourself together, but bitch, you the one did it. Shit be crazy. But listen, this is what I want to tell y'all on this video, right? You know, earlier I talked about how everybody be wanting loyalty, but you know the definition of loyalty now, nowadays is for people to be stupid, to stick around. Hold on. The definition of loyalty nowadays be for a bitch to just they stay stuck on stupid and stick around, right? You know, I read y'all the definition of loyalty. You know, it's to maintain an alliance with somebody. But here go my problem with what's going on nowadays, right? This with friendships, this with relationships, this being families and everything. You shouldn't want no motherfucker that's so-called loyal. So we're going to call him a loyal motherfucker. Y'all definition of loyalty, right? Really be stupidity. But you shouldn't want a loyal motherfucker... Basically, somebody who sticks around with you through whatever for years, but they don't show no sort of gratitude, right? And, and here go where it become a problem. If you're looking at the caption on Facebook, I put saying thank you, right? A lot of times when you be around people who their intentions is not pure, or they be on some bullshit, or it be that fake loyalty, that whole stupidity that, you know, we call loyalty... A motherfucker don't do no more than verbally say thank you for the shit that you do. Or verbally show their gratitude for whatever it is y'all got going on. Here's the problem with that, right? In real life, if you a part of a team with somebody, like we in a relationship, we call ourselves friends, we family members, and we trying to operate in the same space and maneuver through this shit called life, right? At some point, them words don't be meaning a fuck thing. Like some action got to come behind that shit. I'm going to break this shit down for y'all. Some of y'all be in relationships and you feel like, you know, the person is showing you gratitude because when you do things, they say thank you. You know, they speak on what you did for them, right? They talk about how, you know, they can see what you've been doing. After a while, that shit starts to mean less and less when you need them to actually contribute to the team. This is when we get into when I talked about that herd mentality versus pack mentality. Like... When people are in a relationship or in some shit with you and they understand they got to contribute. They got to pull their weight. They got to bring something to the table. You can't just be in this motherfucker and keep on talking about, oh, it's nice here. Oh, yes, I like it here. This is when y'all be in relationships and you always be talking about how good the person is, but you don't treat them their worth. Meaning like you don't show no real gratitude for what the fuck you say you know you got. You ever been with somebody and they, no, I know you good to me. And I know, you know what I'm saying? And I know you treated me better than, you know, this person or my last relationship. Or I know you helped me get myself together. Well, if you know it, motherfucker, you don't act like it because your actions don't matter. I ain't got time for a bitch with all them words. It sound nice at, at first. It'd be talking about how pretty I am. And how smart you think I am and, you know, how hard you, you know, feel like I work. You know, I want me a bitch that work hard like you love. I like that shit sounds great at first. After a while, nigga, what is you bringing to the table? What is we doing? What, what, what you got? Because every day you in this motherfucker talking about how nice it is, how wonderful it is to be around someone like me. How great you like my room. If some of y'all already got my book and you done read the trap chapter about rooms and tables, you, you keep on talking about how this room is so nice. You like the flowers and how the bills get paid on time, bitch. And how, you know, it's stability at this motherfucking table. You like all of that shit. But when is you going to actually like show that you actually give a fuck about being in this bitch? Oh, y'all don't get it yet? been living with a bitch for a while y'all supposed to be getting y'all self together they like you they like how much of a hustler you is they like your stability and shit but like nigga when is you gonna start actually saving some money to do different than what you doing now you know it's one thing to say thanks it's one thing to call out that oh this is nice oh that's a nice car yeah i love how your checks coming in because it's great when are you gonna go get some and contribute so that it could seem like you actually got real gratitude for what's going on because y'all know in the other video when i read y'all the definition of gratitude a person has to not only verbally speak that they get and they care and they have a certain understanding for the kindness that you show but they have to be willing to reciprocate this is when we talk about balance it's when we talk about, like, you ain't just round here, nigga, you doing some shit. Bitch, you ain't just here. You ain't just no pretty face and no fat ass, bitch. What are you doing? 
You say you, you know I'm a good man. You say you know that, you know, I'm taking care of my business. But, hold, when is you going to act like it? Oh, y'all don't like when I talk like this? No, y'all don't like this? No, y'all just want to talk about loyalty? How somebody's supposed to stay in alliance with you for years and, like, never feel like the shit is being reciprocated? Y'all feel like people supposed to keep doing for y'all and letting y'all use their resources and keeping y'all a part of their brand or their platform or they, you know, they click or they like, and you don't really bring nothing to the table. Y'all just want people to just be loyal, just the, the loyal y'all calls uh, loyalty, but it's really stupidity. When, when is it going to get to the point where, you know, a motherfucker let y'all know, you know, thank you is a polite gesture, right? That's all it is, is a polite gesture. That's it. That shit, you can't cash thank yous. Can't cash them bitches. Like, at some point, some shit got to be more than just thanks. Do you ever see the motherfucker? You give him something, thanks. 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 At what point is y'all going to talk about the fact that they keep receiving and saying thank you, but they ain't actually doing nothing past the thank you to show their gratitude for what the fuck you keep adding?